So welcome again guys and in the previous video I told you about the strategy for CSI NET exam and I told uh, the topics which you have to prepare for organic chemistry but some of the topics I unfortunately missed and I would like to request you to go to the description section and the comment section of that video because I uh, later I mentioned that topics uh, on that so these three topics are pericyclic reactions and your stereochemistry uh, photochemistry and so participation fragmentation and rearrangement okay so these three topics you must do for your organic chemistry and uh, one thing I have to mention is that uh, every time you should check at the comment section and the description section because I may forget some uh, things to tell which I will mention in the comment section and description section so if you look at there uh, that will be helpful for you okay so in this video I am going to discuss about the topics wh which you have to do from your inorganic chemistry right so this is about inorganic now one thing I would like to say is that between these three parts organic inorganic and physical the inorganic is relatively easier okay so you can easily attempt inorganic questions because uh, although the last time that is uh, CSI exam 2017 December the inorganic part was little bit difficult but in general inorganic questions are very easy and a little bit concept is needed so you can easily uh, do that and all of I know all of the students are uh, good in inorganic okay so this topic you must do it so if you are good in either organic or physical the inorganic part you should obviously do right now uh, so what are the topics you have to do from inorganic chemistry so first of all chemical periodicity okay Now this topic you are uh, learning from your uh, class 8 standard, uh, not 8 actually, from your class 11 or 12, right? So this is a very well known topic. What you have to do is that you just have to revisit the topics like what is the trend along the series, along the uh, group, along the row, along the period. Okay, so they, they are... Uh, ionization potential electronegativity the acidity of their uh, high acidity of their oxy acids then the basicity of oxides etc so these topics uh, generally uh, one or two questions are from there so this is a very easy topic and you have to do it but next i have to mention the most important topics and that is your now second one actually this periodicity is common topic but most important topic is your transition metal chemistry right so transition metals transition metals and the coordination complex coordination complex right so in this particular part you have to uh, study the uh, iso uh, isomers different type of isomers ionization isomer or your optical isomers that type of things structure bonding your uh, CFT crystal field theory then your ligand field theory right so these topics you have to do all all the topics related to transition metals right so then under these headings you can uh, say like uh, John Taylor distortion is a very important topic then your so DD transition which is a very important topic which transitions are allowed which are not that type of things then your uh, molecular orbital diagram of your square planar complex your um, tetrahedral complex and octahedral complex and then uh, the color of the coordination complex okay so charge transfer complex these are very important among that John Taylor distortion is a very good topic then uh, so these are from your coordination compounds okay uh, then you have to uh, also do the electron transfer mechanism right electron transfer mechanism so electron transfer mechanism are two types one is outer sphere and one uh, second is inner sphere so these two uh, mechanisms you have to do thoroughly and these all things you can read from Hui book uh, the chapters on coordination compound given in Hui book is very excellent and you can read, read it so this electron transfer then after that the second most important topic is so this is actually three one two three so third topic is your organometallic chemistry right organometallic so organometallic chemistry is the very important topic most uh, most of the inorganic questions are from this 
organometallic chemistry okay so you have to really do this topic very well so what you have to do you have to first uh, read the synthesis of the organometallic compounds like what are the reactions then their reactivity uh, particularly you have to do fischer carbines and short carbines so these type of things you have to do oxidative addition reductive elimination then your coupling reactions that things you have to do from this particular topic so uh, any book uh, like I uh, previously mentioned the Crabtree book or Hui book you can read the organometallic chemistry it is the must read uh, topic for your CSIR exam right so these things you have to do for first place and here the other things uh, are like so they are reactively so that's all and uh, after that the next so these are the four points next fifth point is bio inorganic chemistry bio inorganic chemistry right so bio inorganic chemistry is another most important topic because one or two question always come from this uh, bio inorganic chemistry and if you read the hui hui book the chapter on bio inorganic chemistry if you read only that chapter you can easily uh, answer this question and i will make a video on that also uh, uh, all the topics on bio inorganic chemistry by reading just a few things you can easily get uh, 4 to 8 marks right so this is a must read topic and is a very scoring topic also after that uh, you can uh, your topic is like BACPR theory and I have a video on BACPR theory how to uh, predict the structure of molecules right so this is a very important then your seven and most uh, another most important rule is the structure of the clusters right so weights rule weights rule weights rule is like a must read topic because every time one question will come from this topic it is guaranteed that away from weights rule a question will surely come and uh, i will make a video on weights rule so this topic here, here is a must read then uh, your topic may be uh, the acid base right right so a uh, hard soft acid base theory is an uh, important topic and other concept of acid base like uh, your um, uh, large blood concept, uh, concept then your bronze state acidity this type of topics are there okay then another uh, topic which is frequently asked is isolobal isolobal fragments right so they will give you some uh, molecule or some fragments of molecule I and mean, you have to tell which are isolable with that particular one so i will make one video on that and last time also last net exam also they, they give a question although that question was wrong but it is a uh, must watch top, topic or a must read topic right so isolable fragmentation is one then uh, you have to do other things like uh, term symbols Term symbols of the ground state term symbols and the excited state term symbols and related to this one topic is your orgel diagram. Now this orgel diagram is a relatively uh, so orgel diagram is a relatively complicated th thing conceptually and if you are good then you can do it uh, but if you are not uh, comfortable with it you can skip it or uh, one question. Uh, in some air, uh, not it is that all the time they ask from this, but uh, alternate air a question comes from this organ diagram. Okay, so it is a good topic. Then uh, some topics which you underlook that you think that these are very basic topic, but questions comes from there like your electronegativity. Okay, so electronegativity, electronegativity is very important topic. Last time also they. Uh, asked a question that uh, earlier also electronegativity from earlier also electronegativity so I would like to suggest you that you that Pauling scale earlier also scale and uh, other things which are there you should at least remember the formula and the relationship between the charge and the radius that type of things because they give a MCQ question uh, like two marks question from this topic so these are very important then uh, from born Haber cycle they sometimes they give question okay so born have a cycle also born have a cycle is there then another important thing is your Bain's rule it is related to the VACPR theory and uh, for the structure determination this is important topic so uh, these are the topics and after that uh, so 
so main group chemistry is also mentioned in the syllabus but uh, these topics are marking up topics and i will not suggest you to do, do it but if you like you can do it but these topics which i have mentioned and the star given like the uh, coordination compounds and your organometallic chemistry these are the must read topic right so you have to always do do that then after nuclear chemistry is there but i don't personally like nuclear chemistry if you are good at it you can do uh, they are they give the questions like which is beta emitter which is new, uh, positron emitter this type of question uh, if you are familiar with that you can do it then after that this analytical chemistry i don't know i don't know uh, much about it if you are uh, good in analytical chemistry you can read it so these topics which i uh, uh, then another one is your cages and cluster so this is another topic which you will, so most of the inorganic topics you will get from hui book so you have to basically read the book thoroughly right so you will get an idea of what you have to do and the points i have mentioned here these are the important topics then after that for your uh, lanthanide elements so lanthanide elements what you have to do lanthanide from lanthanide elements the things you have to do is uh, nothing much you should do first thing is you should uh, memorize the series of the lanthanide series because in some cases they, they ask the question like which uh, plus three ion is stable and for that you have to know its atomic number right so you have to memorize the full series then the questions like uh, they are uh, the properties of their spectra they are effect of ligand field ligand field on the on their electronic states and the difference with the uh, transition metal series like the d group d group metals what is the difference then uh, then the g value is there there is one g value that is magnetic and other magnetic properties are there these things you have to mention and i will make a video on the uh, the full video on transition uh, your inner transition of the lanthanide metal series uh, so that you can watch so these are the topics which you have to do so another point i forgot to mention is the epr spectroscopy right so from epr spectroscopy every year one or two questions they ask in your exam so this is a must read topic and so these are the all topics which you have to do from inorganic chemistry and in case i miss something i will post it in the description section so you should check it and that's all in the in the next video i will discuss about the physical topics which you have to do for your csi preparation so another thing i i would like to say is that uh, you don't prepare just one subject right so you may be very good in organic or inorganic but if you just focus on just only one subject then it will be a pressure on you right in csi exam lots of options are there you may think that uh, there are so many options so i if i am good in one subject i will do uh, all questions from that but that is not reality you may do all things but when you are preparing you should at least prepare one uh, one subject very good and other two average right so that will give you the confidence so if you have the confidence then you will confidently write the exam and that will be helpful for you so my request is that uh, the subject which you are very strong prepare that well and also focus on the other two subjects right so the combination of the three will give you the full package and that will boost your confidence to get uh, your uh, good rank so that's all and thank you for watching and if you like my video then subscribe and wait for the next video where i will discuss about physical topics so that's all